Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to John. After Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, because Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with the police from the chief priests and the Pharisees, and they came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward and asked them, whom are you looking for? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, he stepped back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Whom are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word that he had spoken. I did not lose a single one of those whom you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's slave, and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that the Father has given me? What is the promise of the Christian life? What are we guaranteed when we enter into covenant with God? There are a lot of confusing messages out there about what this looks like. What should you expect out of your life as a Christian? While a lot of people expect blessings upon blessings in their faithfulness to the Lord and even just accepting him as their Lord and Savior and in tithing a certain amount consistently, they expect blessings upon blessings. And that really isn't the promise from our Lord. That isn't the promise of the covenant. If we deconstruct this question a little bit, we have to ask the question, what does the word Christian mean? It means little Christ. It means that when I say that I am a Christian, I am claiming to be a little Christ. Now, did Christ drive around in beautiful cars or maybe at the time amazing donkeys. I don't know how these things went. But he didn't live a life of luxury. The blessings that he received took on another form. They were blessings of love, blessings of relationships, and above all else, his relationship with the Father. For us too, the promise of a relationship with our Lord is salvation and is the experience, the, the taste of that salvation here and now, true healing, true power in our lives. But to make that a reality, we have to surrender ourselves completely to the will of the Father. Just as he asked the Father in the garden, if this cup can pass me, Lord, let it be, but otherwise your will be done. We too should embrace our suffering if it is part of God's grand plan because suffering is not the end of the story. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.